Greetings, friends and speed enthusiasts. Welcome to a new video. Today we will review the best qualifying passes in the 15 second category from the fourth valid edition of the Baron Kia 2024 Quarter Mile Motorcycle Championship. We start with a duel between Andres Barrio Suzuki Gixxer 250SF and Brandon Rivera Suzuki AX100. The victory goes to Andres Barrios on his Suzuki Gixxer 250SF, clocking an ET of 15.996 seconds, which gives him the provisional first place. Meanwhile, Brandon Rivera on his Suzuki AX100 is classified within the 16-second category. Next up is Davinson Perez on his Pulsar NS200. Davinson Perez on his Pulsar NS200 marks a time of 15.597 seconds, thus taking the provisional first place. Now we have a duel between two Pulsar NS200s, ridden by Brian Padilla and Andres Milan. Thanks to his reaction time, Andres Milan on his Pulsar NS200 takes the victory in this duel, marking an ET of 15.938 seconds, which gives him the third position. And just 8 thousandths ahead is Brian Padilla on his Pulsar NS200, who with a time of 15.930 seconds takes the second spot. It is now the turn for Adrian de la Cruz on his Yamaha RX-115. Adrian de la Cruz on his Yamaha RX 115 sets a time of 15.356 seconds, becoming the new provisional leader. Next up is Jesus Castillo on his AKT NKD 150. Jesus Castillo on his AKT NKD 150 sets a time of 15.182 seconds, taking the lead in the classification. The next to qualify is Jamie Espelita on his Pulsar NS200.
Jamie Espelita on his Pulsar NS200 sets a time of 15.162 seconds, thus taking the lead in the classification by a mere 20 milliseconds over the second place. Following him is Andres Barrios on his Suzuki Gixxer 250SF making a new pass. Andres Barrios on his Suzuki Gixxer 250SF improves his previous record by setting a time of 15.787 seconds, moving from 7th to 5th place. Now Brandon Rivera presents the Suzuki AX100 for a new pass. Rivera on his Suzuki AX100 sets a time of 15.765 seconds, moving from the 16-second category to the 5th position in the 15-second category. We now have a duel between Andres Milan's Pulsar NS200 and O'Neill Abreu's AKT NKD. O'Neill Abreu in his AKT NKD clocked a time of 15.815 seconds, thus taking the seventh spot in the ranking. Meanwhile, Andres Milan in his Pulsar NS200 fails to improve his previous record. Next, Jesus Castillo in his AKT NKD makes a new pass. With a time of 15.045 seconds, Jesus Castillo in his AKT and KD takes the lead in the classification. Now we have a duel between Brian Padilla's Pulsar NS200 and Andres Milan's Pulsar NS200. Andres Milan in his Pulsar NS200 improves his previous record by marking a time of 15.731 seconds, moving from last to sixth place. On his part, Brian Padilla in his Pulsar NS200 improves his previous time by 374 thousandths, registering a time of 15.556 seconds, thus moving from eighth to fourth place. 
It's now again the turn for Adrian de la Cruz in his Yamaha RX-150. Adrian de la Cruz in his Yamaha RX-115 improves his previous record with a time of 15.272 seconds, however, it's not enough to move up the table, so he retains his third position. We now have a duel between two AKT and KD, piloted by O'Neill Abreu and Jesus Castillo. O'Neill Abreu in his AKT NKD, improved almost half a second from his previous record, marking a time of 15.349 seconds, moving up from last to fourth place. Meanwhile, Jesus Castillo in his AKT NKD did not improve his previous record. Next up is Jamie Espelita in his Pulsar NS200 for a new run. Jamie Espelita, on his Pulsar NS200, improved his previous record by marking a time of 15.066 seconds, however, he remains in second place, just 21 thousandths from the lead. Following him, Brandon Rivera in his Suzuki AX100 makes a new run. Brandon Rivera, in his Suzuki AX100, improved his previous record by marking a time of 15.470 seconds, moving up from 8th to 5th place. Finally, closing the classifications, Davinson Perez presents himself in his Pulsar NS200. Davinson Perez in his Pulsar NS200 improved his previous record with a time of 15.042 seconds, moving from 7th to 1st place, with a difference of only 3 thousandths over the 2nd place. Thus, the qualifying sessions came to an end, with 9 motorcycles classified in this category, which will compete against each other in search of the champion's trophy, but we will see that in an upcoming video. Subscribe so you don't miss it! Thus we come to the end of the video, if you liked it, support us with a like and consider subscribing to see more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time.